and gentlemen, welcome to the Hartnell College 2020 Commencement Ceremony. graduates of the Hartnell College 2020 class, our centennial class. My name is Samantha Saldana, and I'm your ASHC president and student trustee. It is my honor to open our 100th commencement ceremony. I would like to invite you, your family, and friends to participate in our very first virtual graduation. This is the day we have worked so hard to reach, and although we can't be together, we can still celebrate as the class of 2020. Go Panthers! We will begin our ceremony by honoring our nation with the national anthem, sung by Francisco Juarez, Jr., member of the graduating class of 2016. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars o'er the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Francisco, for your beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. It is my distinct honor to welcome Dr. Patricia Shia, the Hartnell College Superintendent President, to deliver a congratulatory message to graduates. Good evening and greetings to graduates, family, and friends board of trustees, faculty, classified staff, and administrators. I could not be more proud to share this special moment with all of you and with our entire college community in my first commencement ceremony as superintendent president of Harnell College. Today, we recognize a total of 1,323 graduates who have earned a total of 1,839 degrees and 1,181 certificates. While none of us anticipated this evening's unconventional ceremony, a contrast of events has made our graduates' achievements especially meaningful. Graduates, you have crossed the finish line of your Harnell education, despite being suddenly told to learn remotely and adapt to online instruction. News delivered to you right in the middle of your spring break. Maybe you have had to complete your final semester 
on a borrowed laptop in a crowded kitchen, or perhaps you have to work from your car in a campus parking lot just so you could access the internet. Although the impact of COVID nineteen on your life and all of our lives. May stand out in your memories in years to come. That is not what will most distinguish you from tens of thousands of Panther graduates who have preceded you. As the class of 2020, you will forever be Harnell's centennial class because this is the hundredth year. Since our funding in 1920, as Salinas Junior College, across ten decades, students much like you have traveled through time, from the aftermath of World War One, and attainment of voting rights for America's women, through the epic struggles of the Great Depression. World War II and the Cold War, to the social progress of the 1960s and 70s, and onto the trauma of September 11th and its life-changing aftermath. In the context of the current public health crisis, which is itself a challenge of truly historic proportions. You will be remembered as students who made a tremendous personal sacrifices for the well-being of others, while holding tight to your educational and career goals. Whether you are watching this evening's virtual ceremony on your own, or with friends and loved ones. I would encourage you to take time to thank everyone who helped you reach this special day. I'm confident that they will greatly appreciate hearing from you as you continue your journey. We at Hartnell College are grateful as well for the struggles and sacrifices of your parents. Who believed in and supported your education, and we share in your profound appreciation for the dedication and commitment of the board of trustees, faculty, classified staff, and administrators at Harnell College, who contributed to your success. I also want to thank. And congratulate each of the graduates, recognizing the value of higher education and the difference it will make in your lives, as well as the lives of others. Through your hard work, you have demonstrated that you understand the importance of acquiring new skills and knowledge. I trust you will continue to do so. On the job, in future educational endeavors, and on your own, lifelong learning is a lifelong blessing. Your degree or certificate is a testament to your achievement. It also holds the promise of new opportunities and new accomplishments. I speak for many, in particular. Your families. When I say, I'm confident that you will find a way to build your futures right here in the Salinas Valley. Maybe you are considering to pursue your dreams elsewhere, but your communities need your talents and skills. So, please consider. How you can contribute to the quality of life and economy of the place where you grew up, wherever you are, be an active member of your community. 
however you define it, and help address the challenges before us on a local, state, national, and a global level. Wherever life takes you, I trust you will never forget your experience as a Harnell Panther and what this college has meant to you. We will not forget you. Again, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. Thank you for being a part of our college's century of service, excellence, and transformation. And thank you for being Harnell's centennial class. And now, please welcome the president of the Board of Trustees of the Harnell Community College District, Aurelio Salazar, Jr., who has a special greeting for our graduates. Thank you. I would like to start off with a little bit of our history. Maria Teresa de la Guerra and William Edward Petty Hartnell were married on April 30th, 1825. And according to local records, she was pregnant 19 times, but only six children survived into adulthood. In 1833, William Hartnell secured from the Spanish government 2,971 acres of Rancho de Alizal from the Feliciano and Mariano Sobranes brothers. The title was made official by Governor Figueroa on June 26, 1834. Now, prior to all of this, this land was occupied by the indigenous people of the Aslan Nation. Hartnell Community College was established in 1920 as Salinas Junior College and is now one of 115 schools that make up the California Community College system. Salinas Junior College moved to its current location on Central Avenue in 1936 and was renamed Hartnell College on April 14, 1948. Salinas Junior College was to be the 13th junior college in the state of California, but after going through some initial challenges between 1926 and 1927, Salinas Junior College produced its first five graduates with three of them transferring to a four-year university. In 1940, a large granite panther was added as a gift from the class of 1940 the Panther statue was created by the famous artist Raymond Puccinelli under the Commission of Works Progress Administration and Federal Arts Project. The Panther was nicknamed Oscar. I wanted to share this piece of history with all of you because today you have become a part of Hartnell College history as its centennial graduates. As a former student of Hartnell Community College, I know of the challenges struggles, failures, and awards of today's achievement. And I encourage all of you to continue on in your pursuit of higher education. Your certificate and or degree is something that you will always have to rely on. I especially want to thank all of our faculty, staff, students, administration, and board of trustees in leading our institution and transforming the lives of so many students. And to all of our military personnel, thank you for your service. On behalf of the Hartnell College Board of Trustees, we congratulate all of you today in your achievement. We're honored that you chose Hartnell College to complete your certificate and or degree. Please welcome the president of the Hartnell College Academic Senate, Lisa Storm who has some words to share with our graduates on this occasion. Hello, I'm Lisa Storm, Hartnell College's Academic Senate President. I'm also your teacher if you took any of my classes in Administration of Justice or Business. I'm about to deliver my second graduation speech. My first graduation speech was last year. Most graduations fade into memory very quickly. Not this one. You will never forget this graduation. In spring 2020, you battled the COVID-19 virus and emerged victorious. Graduation is your reward and I want you to savor it. Try to imagine that the COVID-19 virus never existed. Would you value your degree or certificate the same way? Would it mean as much to you? It's easy to take your education for granted, but you never will again. 
The fact that you triumphed over the COVID-19 virus and completed your education will be in the forefront of your mind every time you remember spring 2020. I only have three minutes to make this speech, so instead of focusing on the negative aspects of the virus, I will point out the silver linings. You still graduated. You expanded your educational and employment opportunities. Perhaps you learned how to use Canvas for the first time or trained on some other technological tool like Zoom. These skills will be useful as you further your education or begin employment, which is a bonus. You saved lives by completing your education online and sheltering in place. It would be easy to look back on this time and remember the anxiety, the boredom, the raw fear of what's to come. But I prefer to focus on the positive memories and I encourage you to do the same. My favorite recollection from spring 2020 is the superlative performance of students. I didn't hear more student complaints than usual, I heard less. You all knew it was time for the tap to get going, so you gathered your strength and finished with a bang. Congratulations! Use this enhanced resilience to make the most of your life. As we all learned this spring, life and education are precious and deserve to be appreciated to the fullest every day. Thank you, Professor Storm, and a thank you also for your outstanding leadership of the Academic Senate and your many contributions to the success of Harnell College. I now invite Dr. Romero Halomo, Vice President of Student Affairs, to introduce this year's distinguished alumni on behalf of the dedicated Student Affairs team and the entire college community. On behalf of the Governing Board and our entire college community, it is now my honor to present the 2020 Distinguished Alumnus Award Honoree. This award provides an opportunity for us to recognize the accomplishments of Hartnell alumni who have distinguished themselves as leaders and contributors following their education experience at Hartnell. The honor is conveyed to former students of Hartnell College who have made significant achievements in their profession and in their service to our community. This year's honoree has done both. Ms. Marilyn Long, a Hartnell alumni, is president and executive director of the Long Family Foundation. Ms. Long and her husband, John Long, established the foundation in 1992 to further their desire and commitment to share their hearts and resources to support projects and endeavors in the United States as well as China. The Long Family Foundation focuses on research, including support for Asian American initiatives, education, including scholarships and developing partnerships with universities, culture and arts, including supporting artists through public sculptures, and religion, including expanding Christian ministries. In 2016, Ms. Long and her husband, John, commissioned and donated the stunning Japer sculpture located in front of the Willard Llewellyn STEM Center. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Long for her remarks. Hartnell College, Class of 2020, Congratulations on your special day. What a remarkable achievement. Today is your day to rejoice with family and friends and classmates. Today is your day to celebrate. You should be so proud of yourselves as you have worked extremely hard. I grew up here in Salinas. I was the third of seven children in my family. My parents were immigrants from China, and they spoke hardly any English. My first language was Chinese. It was difficult growing up here. My family struggled financially. After graduating from Salinas High, I attended Hartnell College, and I was blessed to receive scholarships which paid for my education. Besides my academic classes, I wrote for the school newspaper. 
I was very involved in student government activities. At my graduation in 1972, I was voted Hartnell College Woman of the Year to my complete surprise. I am truly humbled and blessed to be selected as your distinguished alumni and commencement speaker. I am especially honored because this is the centennial year of the college. I would like to thank Dr. Patricia Shea, Superintendent President, for her excellent leadership. Hartnell has a very special place in my heart, as well as my six siblings who all graduated from here. I am here today not because of my worthiness, but because of God and his loving grace. Graduates, you have been on my heart, mind, and prayers as the entire world has been shaken by this global COVID-19 pandemic. I pray that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Reflecting on this season, I want to share a message with you that such times can produce incredible opportunities. This is a silver-lipped oyster. Harry Fulstick, a minister and author, once said, The most extraordinary thing about the oyster is that irritations get into her shell. She does not like them, but when she cannot get rid of them, she uses the irritation to create a most beautiful pearl. The most cherished pearl in my life is my mother. She is a real inspiration to me. She taught me the importance of gratitude. She's 93 years old and lives a modest life in Salinas. Today, as president of the Long Family Foundation, I have dedicated my life to give back joyfully to society and to help others as so many have helped me. In 2016, we donated the first outdoor sculpture to Hartnell College. I love art and sculpture because like the pearl, it beautifies and enriches our lives. I commissioned prominent sculptor Roger Berry to create a large scale sculpture entitled J. Poor for your STEM building. As I reflect on my journey, I consider the string of pearls that my life has produced. It began with my childhood trials, which produced the pearls of endurance, perseverance, and hard work, to the pearls of appreciation, generosity, and gratitude. It's my hope that you each show gratitude toward God, your parents, your mentors, and all who have helped you on your journey to have your own pearls. Graduates, to me, you are each a priceless pearl. As you leave Hartnell College, celebrate every moment with gratitude in your hearts, striving to string your own unique pearls. Go, do, create, laugh, love, live. I leave you with a special blessing from the Bible. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face toward you and give you His everlasting peace. Congratulations, graduates. God bless you. Thank you. Ms. Long, in recognition of your outstanding contributions to education and the community, it is an honor for us to recognize you with the 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations and thank you for your support of Harnell College. Dr. Katherine Wilkinson, Vice President of Academic Affairs, will now recognize the students who are graduating with honors. The class of 2020 has 1,413 students graduating with honors and distinction, and we want to recognize them for their achievements. These students have earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.25 or higher. Graduates who achieved the honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, please stand. Please join me in congratulating these students for their academic achievements. The class of 2020 has 22 valedictorians. These are a select group of students who have never received a grade below A. Before I invite one of the valedictorians to the lectern to represent all of the valedictorians, I want to recognize each of them for this highest of academic achievements. Our class of 2020 valedictorians are Arshdeep Baines, Alexis Nicole Bishop, Jianshan Shankalsa, Jesslyn Deanda, Kane Andrew Doty, Janelle Fry, Sofia Garza Guzman, Misael T. Guijaro, Pedro Gutierrez Jr., Dylan Charles Herrick, Christopher Andrew Hidalgo, Hector Jacome Sayens, Edgar Vallejo Licu, Fefe J. Lorenzo, Caroline Lucero Martinez, Caberlin Mendoza, Trinidad Berenice Morales, Julia Ann Pini, Alma Elizabeth Rojas Hernandez, Daniela Salazar Salas, Adriana Cooper Snow, and Isabel Rosalia Torres. Please join me in congratulating these valedictorians. It is now my pleasure to introduce valedictorian Trinidad Morales Garza of King City, who is graduating in sociology. Good evening, Hartnell College, Board of Trustees, administration, faculty members, family, friends, and fellow graduates. My name is Trinidad Berenice Morales, and I am honored and humbled to have this opportunity to speak to you today as valedictorian of Hartnell's 2020 Centennial class. It is such a privilege. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the people who have had profound influences on our academic achievements. On behalf of the entire student body, I would like to thank the passionate and dedicated faculty and staff of Hartnell Community College, without whom we wouldn't be here today. I'd like to also thank our families, whose constant support and sacrifices brought us here today and to our professors for contributing to our educational pursuits and our lifelong goals. Hartnell College has had a significant impact on my life, and I know that you all can say the same. It is here where we have gained knowledge that far transcends the classroom. The opportunities we have been given here are far more than we could have ever imagined. As a stepping stone to our future endeavors, Hartnell has granted us the ability to accomplish our career and academic goals. For many of you, the path to this commencement has not been an easy one. You may be the first in your family to attend college. Choosing to go to college in and of itself 
can be a daunting task. Many of you faced other challenges along the way. You have gone to school in between working and or taking care of a family. There were times where I am sure you wanted to give up, when it wasn't so easy to get that homework or paper done, but you did it. You persevered and it has paid off. We don't succeed alone. We stand on the shoulders of those who have lifted us. We rise together. Today, together we celebrate our accomplishments, our ability to rise to the challenges of life and to raise others with us as we soar. As we embark on our new endeavors with their own set of challenges, may you keep the drive that got you through those all-nighters. May you push yourselves, even when you think you have nothing else to give. May you have the strength to ask for help when you are in need. And may you always have the patience to aid and encourage those around you. The future is ours, and we have worked hard for it. Life really is what you make of it. Believe in yourselves. Don't be afraid to take chances, to challenge yourself, to do things out on a whim, and of course, to enjoy all the little things. Thank you, and congratulations to the Centennial Class of 2020. Thank you, Trinidad, for your inspiring remarks. Congratulations on your tremendous academic achievements. And we look forward to hearing about your many successes in the future. Hartnell College has a successful program that assists migrant and seasonal farm workers in completing their high school equivalency. You may know this program as HEP or HEP. This year's HEP graduating class has 72 students receiving their equivalency and one class valedictorian. Join me in congratulating Patricia Fierro, valedictorian of the high school equivalency graduating class and all of the graduates. We look forward to the day when they will return to this stage to accept their college degrees. Candidates for degree and or certificates, please stand. President Shia, as Vice President of Academic Affairs and on behalf of the faculty of Hartnell College, we present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, and or Certificate of Achievement, and recommend that the earned degree and or certificate be conferred. By the authority vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the Harnell Community College District, I now confer upon each of you the associated degree and or certificate appropriated to your program with all the attendant rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Graduates, now we will observe a time-honored tradition in higher education. You may now move your tassels from the right side to the left side. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020. My name is Moises Almendares. It's my privilege to call your name during this commencement ceremony. Degrees and certificates under arts and languages include communication studies, digital arts, English, English as a second language, music, photography, Spanish, studio arts, and theater arts and cinema. Ulises Aguilera, Brittany Alanis, Alondra Alcaraz, Braulio Alcalá, Rogelio Alcantar, Zulema Álvarez, Hilda Andrade, Juan Andrade, Isabel Aragón, Leonor Aragón, Paula Arciniega, Lainey Arias, Adrian Arroyo, Crystal Arroyo, Jennifer Balassi, 
Bradley Banuelos. Rosa Barrocio Morales. Erith Barrera. Fernando Beltrán. Luis Boyorquez. Guillermina Bravo. Lucía Bravo Navarro. Kenya Burton. Anastasia Cadena. Nerina Campos. Sweetie Cardoso. Nancy Carrasco. Vanessa Castro. Genevieve Cervantes. Emily Chavez. Santiago Contreras. Elizabeth Contreras Pina. Jessica Crocker. Elizabeth Cruz. Griselda Dacpano. Anayeli del Río. Giselle Díaz. Dominic Dodd. Brianna Eckhaus. Fabian Escamilla. Stephanie Felix. Alessandra Filidi. Jordan Finister. Jaime Flores. Anijah Gaines. Eliseo Garcia. Gregory Garcia. Keenan Garcia. Naomi Garcia. Sandy Garcia. Sofia Garza. Nancy Gasca. Andrea Gonzalez. Francisco Gonzalez. Martín Gonzalez. Graciela Gonzalez Herrera. Juan Gutierrez. Christian Hampton II. Ricardo Heredia. Alfredo Hernández. Cassandra Hernández de Rueda. Teresita Hernández Gallegos. Adán Herrera. Iris Herrera. Dominic Hill. Montserrat Hinojosa. Alejandra Islas Pacheco. Shamar Jeter. Jordan Jones. Jasmine Jubain. Dylan Latham. Alexandria Lasso. Oscar Leon. Christopher Lizaula Valdez. Ana Lopez. Ashley Lopez. Jersaid Lopez. Margarita Lopez. Mario Lopez. Vanessa Mancillas. Kimberly Manzano. James Marshall. Rubén Martín del Campo. Ernesto Martínez. Roberto Martínez. Rodrigo Martínez Jiménez. Adam Medeiros. Jasmine Mendoza. Caberlyn Mendoza. Michelle Mendoza. Alder Merlin Aparacio. Stephanie Monteagudo. Richard Mora. 
Gloria Mora Ávila, Stephanie Muñoz, Gabriela Murillo Serna, Naur Nahas, Jordan Nishida, Jose Nolasco, Lisbeth Ochoa, Nancy Oros Tinoco, David Orozco, Esmeralda Orozco, Christopher Ortiz, Maria Parra, Ofelia Parra, Jose Patino, Paula Perez, Reggie Pinasbo, Isaiah Puga Camel, Anthony Quintino, Matthew Resilis Sake, Athena Ramirez, Esmeralda Ramirez, Iliana Ramos, Daniel Rangel Figueroa, Bernadette Ray Ray, Hannah Rebancos, Carlos Reyes, Crisanto Reyes, Marta Ríos, Lucero Rivas, Selena, Selena Rivera, Cassandra Rizzo, Francisco Rodríguez, José Rodríguez, Idaliz Romero Pimentel, Beatriz Rosas, Osman Safi, Reiko Salao Jaochico, Carlos Salazar, Martín Salcedo, Samantha Saldaña, Alexander Sanchez, Jesús Sanchez, María Sanchez, Marilyn Sanchez, Sandra Santos Cruz, Marcus Serrano, Sean Sigala, Jessica Smith, Daniela Tejeda, Ruby Uribe, Nereida Vallejan Lugo, Jeffrey Vasella, Mauricio Vega, Elizabeth Vela Cervantes, Jennifer Villafaña, Gabriela Zamora, José Zavala, Josefina Zavala. Graduates, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Hartnell College graduating class of 2020. I extend my thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion to celebrate our graduates' achievement and extend our congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020! Congratulations, class of 2020! Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you, especially during this difficult time, and you're able to stick to it. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. You stuck with your goals, you made it through this challenging semester, and we wish you a bright and shining future. Go Panthers! 
Class of 2020, thanks for the motivation. And I'm gonna remember this semester forever because you taught me that together we could do anything. Peace be with you and you are awesome. Yeah. It was hard work, but guess what? You did it. Woohoo! Congratulations. <laughs> I start over. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so very proud of you and all that you've accomplished. Congratulations, class of 2020. Awesome, way to go. We're so proud of you. I hope all the best for you in your future. Take care. I thank you all. And remember, if you can do this, there isn't a whole lot you can't do. So keep doing it. Thank you all. Felicidades, class. I'm very proud of you. You made it, and this is the time to dream big. Congratulations, students and graduates. You made it, you did it. I wish you the very, very best success for your future. Congratulations, class of 2020. I compliment you on your hard work and resilience and wish you all the best for the future. Congratulations, 2020. We are so proud of you. And although you are moving on to do great things, you will always be here in our hearts. We love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Good luck on your future end of ours. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. You've overcome a lot and you've carved out a path for yourself and this future. Hartnell, congratulations on your 100th year anniversary, and we will march on into the future with success. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and to your families. Please remember us fondly as we will you, and we look forward to hearing about your future adventures. Remember, a hero's journey starts with you. Congratulations, class of 2020. The counseling department is so proud of you. It's been an honor to walk with you during your time here at Hartnell, and we cannot wait to see what lies ahead for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. You have learned that you are more resilient than you knew you were. So congratulations again. Made long lasting adventures ahead of you. Congratulations. congratulations. Go for it, yes. Congratulations. 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 Congratul